Yo, guys, this is Adrian Yanez telling you to use those handles. Hit, click, like, and subscribe. Fuck yeah, dudes. If y'all don't do it, man, fucking catch the hands, bro. What's happening, people? You are welcome to the Fight Week show, and I'm here speaking to Cameron Simon, the EFC 135 Bantamweight King. Cameron, how are you doing, my guy? Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing very well. Yeah, it's, I'm happy to be here and uh, yeah, happy to to kick the show off. So thanks. <laughs> yeah, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. Look, it's, it's an honor having you uh, on our channel right here. Um, it's 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 something that, you know, that that we're very, very excited to to to, to have you on the show. Uh, for a lot of people that, you know, that don't know, that don't know a lot about you, um, can you tell us about, you know, who you are, where you're from, um, that sort of stuff? Awesome. Yeah. So my name is Cameron Simon. Uh, a lot of people call me MSP. So uh, that, that is the, the fight name. Uh, I train out of Team CIT in Hatfield, Pretoria, here in South Africa. Uh, I am born also here in Pretoria, South Africa. Uh, train here, you know, born, bred and trained here. So um, I'm very proud of that. And like you said as well, EFC Bantamweight champion and hopefully soon to be a UFC athlete as well. So, uh, yeah, that's basically who 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 I am. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, this is a huge day. Uh, it's a huge day for us. We've got the EFC Bantamweight champ here. And um, what, what's it like being the king of the division uh, in the EFC in a, in a very, very tough, tough promotion like that? Yeah, it's it's really crazy, you know. I've since I was a kid. Uh, obviously, I wa watched a lot of the the EFC events. I uh, really looked up to to those athletes that that fought there. And uh, you know, one of my goals as a kid was always just to compete in it once, never knowing that it's gonna spiral into what it is today. And uh, you know, being being champion. It, it is absolutely amazing. With that comes a lot of challenges, um, but I think you know, with the guidance of a great mentors, family, friends, teammates, amazing coaches, you know, it's been a, a very enjoyable ride. And um, yeah, I, I really hope to keep the good ride going. So <laughs> it's it's been great. I mean, your your smile is infectious. You're smiling from ear to ear. Uh, you know, capturing that 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 uh that championship um but you know huge news to, to to bring to our audience here you're heading to to vegas to compete uh in the you know for ufc contract in the uh, the dana white uh, contender series can you tell us more uh about how this came about yeah so uh it's it is true we are leaving uh in about two or three days and, and I'm really looking forward to it. We actually got the opportunity a few weeks ago. Well, not a few. I think about four four weeks ago. We we it was a thing of like, okay, it might happen and might not. Um, at that stage, we had a lot of ad, um, administrative issues, stuff like visas, vaccinations. I wasn't fully vaccinated um, at that time, you know. So there was a lot of stuff that we had to get sorted out before um, it was a done deal and you know i i was proud to announce it on i think monday i announced it or maybe sunday or something like that that right. everything is is happening you know i've i had my passport in my hands with my visa application you know everything has gone smoothly uh, until now and uh, yeah i can't i can't wait to to go to vegas climatize uh, meet the people over there and then yeah do what i do best come uh, 23rd of august so really looking forward to it F fantastic this is a very very interesting stuff here uh how, how do you how do you plan to to stand out during this contender series because a lot of these guys they go in there and they got different things uh to to, to show dana why what, what's the plan how do you plan to stand out in in this sort of tournament i i really think just the, keep on doing what i'm doing now you know i think um honestly we see a lot of these guys perform very well and i think i wouldn't have gotten this opportunity if if it wasn't for my past performances i have five fights you know uh, five wins four finishes with a very i think entertaining title fight which went to a decision so 
I really do think that I, I don't really need to change anything. I'm, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to be looking for, for the finish for sure. I'm going to look to make a statement against a very good opponent. So it, nothing is going to change. The, the goal stays the same. And ultimately, we want to impress the boss. So um, that's 100%. what I'm going to be looking to do for sure. 100%. I mean, you're both, def you, you're both undefeated. Uh, in pro and uh, and as an amateur, um, does this give you added confidence going into into the contender series? Yes, of course it does. Uh, I think we, I think the level of talent we have in South Africa is 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 amazing. I think it's quite underestimated, and I think there's a lot of misconception of like south africans being behind when it comes to the sport of mma and i really do think that especially from our team at team cit we have some of the best fighters in the world training there at the moment we have super talented guys and i think what gives me the most confidence is being able to you know stand with those guys every single day not to mention having a, a, a top a ranked middleweight in Jigas Duplessis in our gym as well. Being a great mentor, you know, Coach Mornay Fisso, who's our head coach, is an absolute genius when it comes to training development uh, in, in what we want to learn as a team. And that will for sure be showcased come uh, the 23rd of August. I, and I'm really going to look to implement a lot of the new stuff that we have learned in our team and uh, i think uh, we're going to excite some t some people for sure so yeah Fan to it. fantastic man fantastic very well said um we we had your we had your good friend jacko here as well jacko duplessis we, we've had him on the show shout out to you jacko hope you're doing well my friend um and he's he's also you know undefeated like yourself and chasing the dream uh, of the UFC, I mean, what will it what will it be like? What what's and what's the advice that you can give to the next, you know, crop of fighters that has the same aspirations as you? Probably seen seen the same type of hurdles that you saw earlier on in your career. What 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 would you tell them? What kind of advice would you get? Would you give to these guys? For sure, just to you know stay consistent. I think consistency is a is a super important thing, especially in this sport. You have to stay consistent uh, in, in terms of you know showing up on time, sh showing up to the gym, do it, getting your reps in, getting your training sessions in. Uh, staying professional is super important, not only in training but also everything that re resolves around that. You know stuff like dieting, um, recovery. Uh, it, it is really one of those sports where you have to tick all the boxes in order to become something in the sports and i really do think it's it's going to become even more technical uh, as we go along we see the sport of mma change so so much and if you are not willing to put in the work and if you're not willing to develop with the sport it's going to run away from you so definitely just stay focused and especially for guys that you know train in our our gym especially is trust the system you know this the system has been a great success for guys like Jikas, for guys like myself you know for guys like yaku who was on on your show as well so really just having full faith in in what our coaches coaching staff and especially our head coach has in store for us I think is is massive and I think if you can apply that to your training if you can have faith and you can put in the work I think you can achieve a lot in the sports so yeah that's that's basically it <laughs> yeah man uh good bit of advice there uh from from Cameron that that that's for sure I, w I wanted to come back to you know you you're born in South Africa and and the 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 state of MMA in africa is gone boof like that what 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 can you say to the state of excellence uh with with african african fighters across across the world what what, what do you say to to to, to some of the excellence we're seeing? I, I think i think really like all, all africans should not think that we are far behind from international standard if you want to call it that i think we are 
very much on par. You see, you see a lot of more African guys getting into big promotions like like the UFC, like One Championship, like Bellator, all all those major companies. So I think there's a type of recognition that's coming from those from those promotions as well, which is great. And I think that adds motivation to to African athletes as well. It it really it makes it easier to work towards a goal if you know it's achievable. Uh, right. And I do think you see that more and more now, you know, and that's great. That's great for African MMA. That's great for MMA as a whole. And we have some talent in, in, our, in our continent, you know, and uh, that makes me very excited. Uh, what also excites me a lot is, you know, promotions like the UFC teasing that they are coming to Africa. And I think if they come here and put on shows, I think that's really going to spark a massive flame uh, in not only the fan base, but also in athletes that want to compete here. So it it excites me knowing that they are soon to be coming here as well. And uh, yeah, I think people should keep a close eye on African athletes because we, we are here to stay. So we're going to definitely take over soon, if not already, you know. Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, you know, you, you see you see what Brazilians have done in the in the sport. And mm -hmm. I, I think I think Africans we, we definitely if we're not there already, like you said, we're definitely, definitely close to it. Uh in in terms of, you know, in terms of just taking over. Um fa fantastic, fantastic answer there. Um a friend of our a, fr a friend of our show, uh, Mr. Adrian Yanez. I'm sure I'm sure you probably Yes. You know about him is he's, he's been on our show as well very good friend of the show and he was also in the Nawak contender series um and and won a contract through it um and uh, you know we've got people like uh Sh sugar sean as well uh that also did the same do, do those names uh get you excited for the future if you win the contract knowing the success that they've now gone to have uh in the ufc of course that's that's for sure something I think that is something you should give, you know, Boss Dana a lot of credit for. He he really knows how to not only give opportunities to guys, uh, but also use that in order to create these personalities and people that are that the fans are invested in. So that that's definitely added motivation, knowing that if we can perform come fight night, that we can build on that momentum and that makes it that makes me super excited that makes me want to fight harder that makes me want to put on a show so i think it works both ways you know the the ufc and dana white container series they get a class entertainment and we also reap the rewards from our hard work so really both ways we all profit and uh that that just just talking about it makes it makes me more excited so can't, i fantastic. really can't wait <laughs> fantastic fantastic i mean uh, we talk about keeping that flame and that passion burning uh in a fighter in the early stages of a, of a pro career even, even the amateurs like with all the hurdles and, and and obstacles that you guys have to face, uh, be it mental challenges, physical challenges, like how how do you keep that passion that passion burning, right right through to to the point where you're able to compete at at, at this top level uh, at a very very consistent basis. That's a very good question. You know, it, for for a lot of people, I think they'll have different answers. I think. Yeah. Me personally, I, I love fighting. I've, I've loved it since the first time I watched my first live event, which was an EFC event. Uh, I, I became obsessed with the sport and everything that re revolves around that, you know, not only uh, training myself, but also teaching and passing on that knowledge to to our the little legends in our kids program, you know. So uh, it's it's really hard. It is a hard sport. I think it's one of the hardest sports in the world, especially physically to maintain consistency through injuries uh, and to stay motivated. And you see that a lot in 
in, in our sports, you know, people lose their passion and that's, that's fine. That's, you know, you can, you can change as a person, you can lose interest. For me personally, I do not think I will lose interest very soon because I, I enjoy it so much. Mm. <laughs> I watch, I love watching it. I love talking about it. I love teaching it. I love training. So I think something that our head coach also does before we go out, you know, there's mm. a lot of pressure before fights. He always reminds us the reason why we started this whole sport and it was to have fun and just coming back to that reality and just telling yourself that you are here to have fun because that that is what it is yes it's a job yes it you know can set a lot of things up for your future but also you started you walked into that gym the first time because you were looking for something fun to do wow. and i think if you can if you can keep hold of that core I think it, it is super important. And I, I've been lucky enough to do that every single time I walk out to that cage. And that makes it easy, for sure. F fantastic, fantastic. Um, you guys are special breed as fighters. I mean, there's sometimes you just tend to think, I, I wish I could just, just see a day in your, in, in your life. You know, I, I'm, I'm what you guys have to do uh, to, to, to become, to get into beast mode uh, the way you do. Um, is there anything that us fight fans might not know about the, you know, about the daily lives of a professional fighter uh, and the grind that it takes? If, if you could just peel off a curtain ju just to show us a little glimpse of, you know, what, what it's like for you guys. Yeah, well, just to to talk about what I basically do in a day, you know, you know, I wake up at every single day. I wake up at the same time, so I have a, a super strict, um, you know, sleeping schedule, if you can call it that. Right. So usually, uh, we have no screen time before we go to bed. So mm -hmm. at like nine o'clock, we uh, I cut uh, screen time at ten. I'm sleeping uh, wow. and then I wake up well my my alarm is already set for six o'clock but I, I tend to wake up before that because then i'm well rested after that you know having breakfast before training eating for training sessions is super important um so we do that then we have two to three sessions in the morning and that can be anything from mobility to mma training to strength and conditioning uh grappling stuff like that and uh, then we have like a midday break wh where a lot of guys will sometimes, you know, play games, watch YouTube. Uh, I enjoy, I have a lot of other projects uh, going at the moment, which is quite fun. And mm -hmm. uh, I like, I enjoy business strategy and I enjoy, you know, hustling, if, if you can call it that. So yeah. keeping myself busy with that through, through the rest of the day. Uh, I love teaching. I do that almost every single day, teaching our, our kids. We have mm. the Little Lady program in association with Team CIT. Mm. So teaching them and really having an input on their lives has been super rewarding to, to me as well. And yeah, then after that, train one more time in the in the evenings and then go rest. Yeah, so that's basically what I do in a day. And uh, I enjoy it. I On a Sunday, I cannot wait for the new week. So <laughs> I, I know I'm doing something right if I'm excited for a Monday. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely you are. I mean, when you... So, you got you got to love the grind, the hustle, like yourself, uh, like you said. You know, um, if if you're if you're just happy, uh, looking forward to a Monday. And speaking of grind, we've seen how how tough and how tight Dricos's work ethic is. And we know you train at CIT gym. You know, with him, uh, he's, he, and like you said, you know, looking at him uh, in in terms of in terms of mentoring as well. Uh, how has he? And the way his work ethic is affected you, affected you, and shaped you as a fighter. Yeah, it has immensely. I I started at Team CIT when I was about fourteen years old, mm. uh, and at at such a young age, you you not only pick up on what what these guys do that you look up to, but you also, uh, I think your brain is still like a sponge, and I think uh, that is something that really ingrained in my brain that if, if you just put in the work you'll some other time you'll reap the re reward you know and obviously opportunity has to meet up with that hard work um 
and but you first need to make sure that you put in the work so that was definitely something that was super prominent in in meeting not only Drickus but also getting to work with him is oh. his relentless work ethic was something to look up to and something oh. to match so and also the guys at, at team cit all of them have insane work ethics we have we have some killers in that gym and oh. i've i've always said it as well like we are one of the best teams in the world we just need time to prove that and yeah. I, slowly but surely we are doing that so really drickers has had a massive impact not only on myself but also all the other absolute killers we have at team cit so i'm really looking forward to where where our team is going in the new future because we have such good momentum going at this stage and we have some amazing guys in our gym not a, not just amazing fighters but amazing personalities that really i think deserve to be on the world stage so i i look forward to to myself performing but i also look forward to seeing how well our teammates perform and and that's that's also you know like steph um, one of my teammates he's fighting tomorrow and I really right. can't wait because I can't. I know he's going to put on a, an amazing performance. So, yeah, it just comes back to being a massive fan of the sport and yeah. really wanting your your not only yourself to succeed but also your teammates and and your friends, your buddies. You know, so yeah. I can't. I can't wait to see them come into that world stage like Trickus is doing and like I'm doing now. And yeah, that's that's awesome. I mean, you guys are trailblazers. You guys are you guys are trailblazers, man. I, I I wanted to ask you, as with time, as, you know, I'm very very conscious of of time, and um, I, I know you got to get out of here. Um, as we start to wind down, I want to ask you, what what's the hardest fight that you know that uh, I'll say maybe the hardest fight of your life, um, fight, fighting in 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 this in this kind of sport, and what did you learn coming out of that fight on the other side? Well, definitely the fight I took the most damage in was my, my fight with Billy Oestes. And I, <laughs> I had an absolute shattered uh, nose. I had a cracked wow. or, orbital bone. Um, so they, they like that was really, I took a lot of damage in that fight. Just, I think we can, we can narrow, we can say it was one or two things. So there was a lot of things that happened in, in that fight that affected the, the, amount of damage i took um i was under a lot of pressure to finish that fight i think i was uh, very very not i didn't respect um his stand-up enough and uh, that's something that really i i think i learned out of that fight is to firstly stay composed which i was not in that fight i was really i fought angry so really to stay composed stay stay level-headed in 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 the terms of what you want to achieve uh, and also just to really go out there and be technical i think that's a big thing so that's definitely one of the hardest fights i've ever had but nothing comes close to a friday sparring session at team cit uh, <laughs> we've had some crazy sessions uh, with some of the coolest teammates ever you know it really gets heated the pace is high we we really go after each other and then if you're not in camp you get to have a beer afterwards and then you know laugh about the the shots you took and the shots you landed so i, I would say that belly fight but nothing comes close to a, a sparring session at team crt fantastic um uh well to 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 start wrapping up now we we know that you're very very busy you're going to be looking to fly out very very soon at the end of the week um, what should our, our viewers and you know and fans out there what what should they what, what should they keep their eye on as you go out to compete in this dinner white contender series just keep an eye out on the career because we are i i say this a lot and i'm going to keep on saying it but we are only getting started uh we have had great momentum i'm 21 years old uh we have a world title and we're going for a UFC contract. So I'm going to be looking to go after that performance bonuses. I'm going to be looking uh, looking to go after those finishes. So please stay tuned because uh, MSP is coming. And 
I really can't wait. I, just talking about it just makes me want to shout. Oh <laughs> shit! Let me get in there with you. Let me get in there with you. I mean, no, this is this is great. Thank you very very much for your time. And before we, you know, we get it out, before we get it out of here, um, is there any uh, merches you want to plug? You want to say thank you to your coach? I mean, sponsors. Uh, please, the yeah. floor is yours. Also, just thank you a lot to Team CIT. We have a great facility. So everyone from right across the world, you guys are also more than welcome. If you're ever in South Africa and you want to, you're here on holiday and you want to squeeze in a training session, come visit us. We are super friendly, I promise. And uh, go check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that, Cameron Simon. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for having me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your time as well. And uh, yeah, thanks. I really do appreciate it. Oh man, you're a fantastic, fantastic sport. And uh, you know, hopefully when you when you don't finish with you know with uh, with the dinner white contender series, uh, we'll be able to have you back on the show as well, so we can talk about your journey on there. Um, For sure. If that's if that's all right, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. This is the fight week show. You guys have shown the support right from the beginning. We're gonna be rooting for Cameron Simon S. He's going to be doing a big job. He's going to be killing it over there. We're going to be right behind you and we're going to be plugging you all on the socials, on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, every single one of your socials. We're going to be following you on there, man. And thank you very, very much for coming through to us. And um, this is the Fight Week Show. Salute to all of you. Big up. Hey guys, this is John Anik from the UFC. You're watching the Fight Week Show. Please subscribe, not now, but right now. Subscribe to the Fight Week Show. We'll see you guys on the road soon.